In this tutorial, we're going to take you through W3 Total Caches Minifier settings. So we're just starting off in the dashboard and we're already looking in the Minifier screen for the plugin options here. Uh, the first thing we can see though is that Minifier via disk is currently disabled. So what we first need to do is go into General Settings, scroll down to Minify and click Enable. Leaving all of these just as the defaults for now is fine. Uh, so we just need to click save all settings there and then jump back into Minify. The first thing we see is a message up the top saying that we've made some changes that invalidate the cache or potentially modify the site's behavior. So what we need to do is just click empty the page cache and that message will go away. And the plugin is then free to rebuild the site's cache. So, so we're able to use the rewrite URL structure so that it can use uh, the correct links to actually pull in uh, those resources. The second setting is regarding uh, the logged in caching availability. So at the moment, what we can see is we're still going to minify pages uh, for users that are logged in. And really that's, that's absolutely fine to use unless you need to really dig through your code. But in that case, you probably shouldn't be using caching anyway. Uh, so you're always getting the most up-to-date version of your website. The next settings we have are regarding the HTML and XML. Uh, XML is really only used for your RSS feeds, so we'll just think about it in terms of HTML mostly for the moment. So we certainly want to enable HTML minifying and probably even just making sure that we enable inline minification for CSS JavaScript. So we can do that and then just we see the ignored comment stems and these are so that you know uh, resources such as ads still load uh, when you're happy with those settings just click save all settings and then we just scroll down and next we see javascript minification settings basically we want to have this enabled which it is and we can see that what it's going to do is minify things that come before the ending head tag and the embed type is just default at the moment you can change to non-blocking using js or you can use a sync or defer JavaScript settings there. Either is okay, you can use any of those if you'd like. I'll just leaving it as defaults fine as well. And then we can see we can preserve comment removal. So, and we can also have line break removal. Uh, as it says, it's not totally safe though, so sometimes it's best just to leave that on. We don't need to save our changes here because they're just the default settings anyhow. That brings us down to CSS, so as we can see, CSS is currently enabled to be minified, which is great, that's what we want. And once again, you can see we can choose to preserve comment removal, and we can also choose line break removal. It's reasonably safe to remove line breaks in CSS, so we'll just turn that one on. And it's also got import handling, you can leave it as none if you like or you can use bubble or process. Uh, obviously you will need a knowledge of those and how they work in order to deduce if they will be reasonable to use for your website. So we've made some changes there, so we just click save. And we'll just scroll back down to the bottom here. And this brings us to the advanced options. We can disable the minify automatic file name length test if you would like. So what it does at the moment, just as a default setting, is it will try and find the the best file name length for minified files. Uh, you can t you can disable that if you want. It doesn't really matter. And just below there, if you do choose to enable it, you can specify a file name length. We can choose to update external files uh, every every while. At the moment, it's just set to 24 hours, which is 86,400 seconds. The same is set for the garbage collection interval as well. Now, what we can do just below this is set settings so that it never minifies certain pages. Again, it's there's probably not a lot of benefit in doing that. You know, the idea of minifying your website is that it reduces the white space that's contained in files, so you get a faster load time. Though, of course, if you suspect that there are problems caused by this and you suspect that it might be one or two files in particular, you can just add those in there. You can also choose to never minify certain JavaScript and CSS files. It's, you know, just as we just discussed then, if you think that there are some that are causing problems, then it's best to disable minifying uh, those particular files. Again, it's reasonably unlikely that would happen, but, you know, that setting's there for you anyway. And then we can s reject certain user agents. So 
for instance, if you know uh, every mobile phone and particular and bre so for instance, every mobile phone and you know every browser will have a particular user agent. So you can specify user agents in here that you don't want to receive minified content. Once more, it is simply a case of if you believe that minifying files is causing problems on a certain platform, you can set the uh, user agent in there and that'll stop them from being served those particular files as minified. Finally, we can exclude external files and libraries. So as you can see here, it's got the Ajax Google APIs libraries or anything contained within there will not be minified, which is definitely a good thing because those are often updated. So they're good to just leave like that. Of course, if you have any other files or libraries on external servers, you can specify those settings here. When, we, when we're done, we just click save all settings. So what we can see now is we've got two messages, one regarding the page cache and one regarding the minify cache. So what I want to do is empty the page cache and empty the minify cache. And now we just go back to our website just to make sure it displays correctly. And there we go, our site still lo loads up just to and there we go. A site is still loading up exactly how we'd like it to, except this time with minified content. If you find that there are any problems, such as you know CSS not loading or JavaScript not loading, you definitely need to go back into your minify settings and just disable them one at a time to find the cause of the problem. If you have any questions about W3 Total Cache or minifying files on your server, please ask in the comments below.